everybody it's bob boob all right this dorky guy here is bob boob all right we're doing a video tour here at 409 south broad street so here i'm facing south on south broad street here i'm facing north on south broad street so that's actually going to be west and this is going to be east but the, what this is it's a two-story house you can see where my super cool awesome soccer mom minivan is at that's where i'm parked at 100 amp service here going in so there's some off street parking here probably get two cars nose to nose of course this is the old appliances they're going to be out of there but when we walk in the house of course one of the first things you'll see is that it has wood floors throughout so if you don't like wood floors well this probably isn't the house for you or i guess you got to cover them i don't know what to call this room guys i think i'm going to call this the dining room over there's the kitchen you'll see what i mean here in a minute because there's several rooms down here there's a first floor laundry that's a laundry closet you open that up it's where the oh, here i can show you this is where the washer dryer hookup is was down in the basement before but moved that upstairs there is if there's such a thing as older newer windows <laughs> what i mean by that um a lot of the windows have been updated there's oh that's an older one over there but they're the double pane the flippy dippy you see what i mean here look at that flippy dippy, dippy for easy cleaning so variants but here's a room that you could easily add a door here Add a little closet space and you can have a big first floor bedroom here if you needed somebody to have a first floor bedroom. Or this could be like a den or a living room area. I feel like I'm yelling echo, echo, but it's that big of a room. Of course, there's the steps going upstairs. And well, you know what? Here's the steps going down the basement. Let's let's push pause. Let me go down the basement real quickly. Okay, I'm down in the dungeon. I look for spiders first and I don't see any spiders, but over here is where that washer and dryer used to be. Gas furnace, gas hot water heater. These are just the old old oil tanks. They're not used anymore. Here's the back of the house. There's an outside entrance there. Uh, dehumidifier. Sub pump here. Of course, these are the steps going back up. It's an old stone foundation, but you can see they were parged and painted to look nice. And you got this area here. You do get some water down here, so I don't know if the gutters and downspouts need some work or whatever. But uh, we just got some rain recently. I noticed a little bit coming over here. A little bit kind of underneath the oil tanks but that is what it is so all right before i see a spider let me get out of here all right hold on guys i'm going back upstairs okay so back upstairs here as far as financing programs go this pro property should qualify for all the low down programs and the low interest rates there's one as of the recording it's at 5.625 that's a fixed rate 100 percent financing you can actually even probably borrow your closing cost into it if you wanted can see here there's a nice back porch area now remember earlier i showed you that outside basement door this here actually flips up that you can get in there now there's another door i'll show you that here in a minute but it's a small fenced in backyard a little fire pit area there a little shed it's what they call a solar power dryer or clothesline it's kind of a cute yard um but yeah, the financing programs are pretty nice out there right now. And especially if you're paying rent, oh my gosh, you know, get your own place and place to start off. Uh, the appliances are included with the sale. As far as I know, everything's working good. Now we do have first floor bathroom here. So here you got a toilet and over here's a shower right here. Some storage here, I guess for towels or whatnot. Now this is that bonus room. This is why I said so you got that first floor bedroom or den, dining area, I can call it. But you have a big, huge eating kitchen here. So, probably don't even need a separate dining room. But if you did, you could. But then this is like that bonus area. Like, I'm going to call this the family room. So, there's the door coming in off the carport. Remember there on the porch a moment ago? I showed you that door right there. So, I suppose you could enclose that porch at some point if you needed more space. This is an old propane fireplace. I don't know that it works or doesn't work. We we're going to have Mike Persun, the famous furnace man, take a look at that, but he hasn't had an opportunity yet, so um, that may or may not work. Of course, here you have the backyard, and then remember I was showing you earlier, here's the carport area. So you do have a gate here that you can get into the yard if you need to, and there's my super cool, awesome soccer mom minivan or there's the gas meter so just kind of giving you orientation here of how the house is laid out all right so that's the first floor so 
why don't I push pause and let me take you upstairs. Hold on, guys. Okay, so now we're upstairs. So here's where I just walked up the steps. First, you come to a small bedroom here. It's probably, well, you figure each of those boards is about a foot. So you got, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, about eight and a half there by, you figure about 12 foot, big window there. And here you have the bathroom. Of course, tub shower area right here. Kind of funny, got a window in the bathroom, but I got a blind over that unless you're, what they call it, an exhibitionist or whatever. Sink, some goofy guy following me around here. Toilet, there's a shelf. No, oh, that's all the essentials, not real big. Linen closet here. Now there's a couple things they're doing. They're putting a new door here. Door, I think there's three new doors that haven't been installed yet, but they will be soon. So here's a bedroom here. So this one has a closet, whatnot. There's a broken window there that's getting replaced. That window was replacement glass was ordered. Here's the attic. Let me take you up in the attic and show you around. So this is some nice storage area here. It's all floored. You got a couple big rooms here. Of course, I've seen people actually finish these off into bedrooms too. But uh, right now, it'd probably be just more for the storage. Brand new metal roof. That's less than a year old. So the Famous Larry Wallen put that on. So you got a brand new roof on this property. Gas heat, 100 amp electric breaker box. Oh, I forgot to show you the breaker box. That's down in the basement. They're kind of behind the furnace, but I do have a picture of it. It'll be online. And then here's bedroom number three. Very nice size room. Lots of windows in here. Closet. So again, de depending on how you would use that lower level room, you could have a four bedroom house here. You could have a three bedroom with double den. So guys, boy, I think that's it. It was really nice hanging out with you guys. If you have any real estate questions, house, questions about this house, other houses, financing, maybe you got a house to sell. You're not sure how to do that. Sorry, loud truck going by. That's my mom. She's heading out for some lunch. But if you guys have any questions, give me a call. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.